Okay, project for today. Um, I woke up this morning, I needed to get the truck aligned. And basically from the thumbnail, you can tell that I had a check engine module, some kind of control, stability control system fail. Um, so let me show you some things that led up to that. So some things that led up to the, pro to the failure was this. I lifted the truck, um, took out the axles, did all that and needed to get the truck aligned. On the way down there, the steering wheel was cocked a little to the right. Uh, the alignment shop did the work. It worked perfectly. Um, the alignment was perfect. I got maybe 20 feet out of their driveway and the engine light popped on. The stability control popped up. Now, Typically, from what I was reading, that popped up because something about the steering wheel was crooked while the wheels were straight and driving. Basically, these computers do not like those things. And I'll show you a clip now what happened um, right when I picked the truck up. And this is the issue. Check vehicle stability control system that the flashing light is because I do not have my TPMS sensors and check engine. Okay, so let me tell you guys why I got this issue and how I'm going to fix it. So let's get into it. Okay, so now that we know, well, now that I know what the problem is, sort of, I went and Googled it. I went on Tacoma World's forum, amazing forum. They have a lot of stuff. I'll see if I can put a link in the, in the description where I uh, got the instructions. So because I lifted it, because the steering, steering wheel was moved, wheels are not straight, and then it was straight, and then the steering wheel was all, all that jazz. Anyway, let me go over real quickly what the instructions say. I'll show it to you, and then I'll do it. I mean, I'll show you what it says in the forum. All right, so this is what I saw in the forum and I'll go in the shade where it's a little darker where we can see So I had this display Basically, it's saying that a guy went to the alignment shop Did his alignment and this came on same thing as mine except his was a 2017 All right, so we are on Tacoma world's forum scroll down i'll put a link in this in the description so here's how you re you're gonna reset the whole thing uh, even though it says for up to 09s it does work for my 2016 and i think it'll work for early ones too <clears throat> okay right we're gonna put the truck on a flat surface use some wires make the connectors and so this is what it's gonna look like don't forget um don't mix up left and right this is going to be the passenger side and this is going to be the driver side. So you're going to count one, two, three, four over one, two, three, four over. And here's the actual instruction on how to do it. Where you're going to turn the ignition off. You're going to find this switch. Um, you're going to connect something in here, either a paper clip or some wires. Turn the ignition system on, but do not start the car. Touch the wires four times within eight seconds. You're going to see the ABS light flash. Mines are was flashing. So just basically follow this instruction. It is very detailed, a lot of pictures, and really easy. This short, and it does work. So let me get into that part. Okay, so now that we know what I'm going to try to attempt to do, let me put the truck on level ground and see if I can get started. First thing to do is to park the truck on level ground. Next is to disconnect the battery. I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes, so you guys know what that means. Time for Call of Duty. I'll be right back. So the battery has been off for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna reconnect the battery. All right, time to go back inside the truck now. The first thing I'm gonna do is find the OBD port and instead of using a paper clip, I'm just gonna use these. So basically just a piece of wire we're going to count from the passenger side four pins over put a wire in on the top put
put a wire in on the bottom uh, and that way I can just touch these two together within eight seconds. So let me go and do that first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now I have to turn the ignition to the on run position and touch those two wires together within eight seconds. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, turn the ignition on. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now the ABS light is flashing and that's flashing. It says to turn it off. Okay, turn it off. Then it says to hold these two together and then turn it back on. So hold these two together. Turn the ignition back on. Now it's flashing rapidly. And I guess turn it off. Okay, well, they were flashing. Unfortunately, I only let it flash for two seconds. Took my hand off and then the light just went away. Unreal, the damn thing worked. Oh my God. I will put, you know what? These other guys did a better job than I did. So like I said, I always give credit where credit is due. I will uh, put a link for the video that I uh, copied this from. Now I have a manual transmission. What I forgot to do was to put the parking brake up. Now that the parking brake is up, everything is gonna work. And um, that's what I had to do, just lift up the parking brake. So, um, let me just take it for a test drive, make sure everything is good, and I'll get right back to you guys. I am on my test drive. Everything is working out perfect. There's not one single thing wrong. Truck drives amazing, straight. No problems with the motor, uh, steering, or anything. Uh, thanks to Daryl for telling me how to do this. He kind of suggested where I could find the information. I will put links to it on the bottom. And like I said, if it wasn't for Daryl, I probably would have been at the dealership spending a lot of money. Okay, so why did this problem happen? Well, when the truck is stock or maybe even just lifted three inches, there's not a problem. Everything is calibrated from the factory with the speed wheel sensors, the ABS sensors, all your sensors are stock at a certain level, no problem. And then when you go to lift their truck more than three inches, we take off the spindles, we take out the ABS sensors, we take out the axles, we take everything out. When you put it back together, your steering wheel is now crooked. It's not 100% straight in relation to the ABS sensors, in relation to your axles and everything like that. While the original wheels may be straight or turned, the steering wheel is a different direction. The computer freaks out, doesn't know what to do. What does it do? It throws a cold. So that's where your cold comes from. Once you do your alignment, you need to reset and recalibrate. Most times you can get away with not doing it. It's just those once in a great while like mine and some other people's that it throws things off like this. So that was the fix. And like I said, I did go to Daryl who helped me out and he pointed me into the correct direction. All right, I am back from my test drive. Everything works perfect, 100% perfect. No check engine lights. I went out for a drive for about 15 or 20 miles, perfect. What caused this problem? Well, at stock height or even with a three inch lift, like I said, you're not gonna have this problem. It's only when you start lifting it six inches and more that the problem seems to occur more. So what caused it? Well, when, you, when we do these six inch lifts, we take off the spindles, we pull up the axles, we do all these kind of things. We disconnect the ABS sensors. And when you put it back together, your steering wheel might be a little off in relation to the actual wheel itself, in relation to the ABS sensors, the body control modules, and the trucks just freak out and throws a light, of course. So once you lift your truck, um, if you have this uh, stability control light come on, that just means that everything needs to be reset. If you have a automatic truck, like most of you guys do, 
I'm gonna shoot that dog. No problem. <laughs> Uh, for me, because I have a manual transmission, I forgot to lift the parking brake. Somehow, by lifting the parking brake, it tells the computer to allow you to do this reset. So if you have a manual trans, do not forget to lift the parking brake when you do this. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description where I found the video. Thanks to Daryl for pointing me in the right direction on how to do this whole procedure. That's it for this project. I am tired again. I will see you guys on the next project. I hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you guys on the next one. One last thing before I go. Show you guys a little hack that I just found today. It was pretty crazy. So how many got extensions like this that wobble and limp? Well, there's a crazy hack I saw and it works. So what you do is you get a bunch of uh, you find the right o-ring washer and I have a whole kit here You take your o-ring washer o-ring washer You put it around Yeah, I'll show you guys. Okay, so limp O-ring Check this out will not wobble and it goes in the direction that you put it at. Is that freaking sick or what? Works for your three eighths, your half inch, your quarter inch. So this one's all wobbly. Limp, see, limp. Put your washer on, solid, stiff. All right, life hack for today. See you guys on the next project.